I must confront my father. Yet my life story is riddled with holes. Shadows upon the canvas of my life. Once I was Nilin, an errorist, feared and hated. Capable of sculpting your memory to my whim. Once I was the adored child of the Cartier Wells. Themselves adored by a society they designed. Shadows and light. It's up to me to repair the damage. To right the wrongs committed by my family. Whilst chaos threatens to consume it all. It's time for my father to truly taste the poison that the whole world embraced. Edge guides me. And I am ready. The Conception Cube, the heart of this corruption. This time we nail it. No going back. Tell me about my father, Edge. Charles Cartier Wells has walled himself away for years, dreaming of his ideal future. It's here that H3O was conceived. H3O? Memorized central server. The place where all these memories are stored. Only your father may enter. It's up to you now. Convince him to let you in. Let's get this done. So this is it, the last part of the game, the last act, the last chapter, and oh boy, what a chapter it is. Just look at this set piece where you dropped off. It's everything about this screams, screams final dungeon. And not only that, it also manages to capture a kind of majestic atmosphere that really that really makes clear to you that Charles Cartier Wells is the man in the high castle and you are but a lowly peasant unworthy of his attention and it now of course we could take the visitors entrance and loop around like 10,000 times and take a lot of stairs to Charles, but we don't have time for that. So we're gonna do what Nilin's best at. We're gonna climb down there. Nilin, my little smarty, please let me work. Come on, Papa. Come play with us. Okay. And boy, what a mess his office is. It looks exactly like you'd imagine the office of the brain behind the Colossus to look like. Who's that? Those voices? Your father. He kept many of your childhood memories for himself. It's disgusting. Genius and despair are a dangerous mix. It seems for all the things Charles Cartier Wells has done for other people to help them get over their past, or to help them deal with their past. He himself has, hasn't had the fortune of, of experiencing that. He seems trapped in a past that's no longer his. In a past that wasn't his to begin with, even. It's an irony that you could have probably seen coming about 10 episodes ago that the creator of Memorize was a person who couldn't bring himself to forget. But then again, it it's not a cliche because it doesn't work. It, it was obvious, but it's not a bad twist. All I see are pale fragments of my life. Soundless, tasteless, dull and dead. You'll finish up the family scrapbook later. Charles is close. You're almost there, sis. The nightmare is nearly over. There 
has to be an error here. Not a mistake. Don't understand. My father. His work is his life. And I'm going to convince him to destroy it. His work became the only way he could save the life he loved so dearly. What do you mean? Look around you. The power to remove painful memories. <sighs> to forget a car crash. My God. He did all this for me. And you are the only person in the world who can convince him to bring it to an end. I can fix everything. Fix everyone. Just need a little more time. Just a little more time. Now, give him a taste of his own medicine. So not only is Charles Cartier Wells stuck in the past and paralyzed by fear of change, he also has a savior complex. And I don't think we're, we will be able to change that when we remix his memories. I think that's just part of who he is. But hey, look who came back. It's the best feature of the game, memory remixing. And just in time for the finale, we have one last remix to do. And boy howdy, what a remix it is. Papa, is mommy coming home soon? Very soon, my little smarty. Mommy doesn't like Jacks anymore. Since when he was bad. But, but be still now. I'm going to make everything right again. You can't fix Mummy's leg. It's too late. Oh, I'll find a way to fix that as well. But for now... I'm going to help my little girl. How do you feel? <laughs> do you think Mummy hates Jax? No. Why? Did he do something bad? No. No, he didn't. <laughs> now run along and play now. Daddy's got work to do. Okay. Love you, Papa. I found a cure for misery. Soon, I'll take all your hurt away, and we can be happy again. And then I'll free the whole world from pain. And this is the exact moment where Charles Cartier Wells went from well-meaning family man to dark messiah. And no doubt we're gonna have to change that. I don't think that changing this one moment in time, this one instance of him doing something, will actually, would actually affect his whole personality. But this isn't about changing who he is. We just need to wake him up. And, of course, if Edge had wanted Charles Cartier Wells dead, then he could have just made us kill him. He could have just made him trip over a wire and break his neck or something. But Nilin would have never done that.
Silla, darling, is everything all right? We should have been home hours ago. They started work on the Mary Ferrick. I had to take a detour through New Belleville and traffic was bad. Did you find Jax? Jax! Jax! Yes, I did. And next year, you're the one in birthday detail. Your daughter has been impossible ever since she saw me buy her gift. Can I have it now? Please! I spent the day at the lab. Did you have the time to read Hello, my Papa. memo on memorial Just therapy? Just shopping with Mummy. Hello there, my little smarty. Behave yourself with your mother, promise? Charles, dear, I'm not convinced the clients are going to accept your idea. Storing memories seems like a more commercial argument to me. Can you walk on Can't your you imagine the possibilities? Human memory management. <laughs> we'll talk about it tomorrow, that. okay? Right now, I'm thinking it might not be such a bad hungry? idea if your daughter would forget it was her birthday. I'll take some food with us if you like. <laughs> I wondered why it has gone so quiet. I should punish you, my dear, but the two of you are so adorable together. <laughs> you know, Charles, I don't mean to brag, but we did this in a lockdown office surrounded by drones while it was dark and with limited time and we still did it better than you because what he's doing here is just undoing the crash and Nila never remembers that and that's gonna cause some issues with her mother because her mother distinctly remembers losing a leg and that's why we're gonna change that Silla, also, Charles keeps projecting himself into the memories he's currently remixing, and that's really amateurish, like, that's just kind of creepy. And Nilin has never done that. Which goes to show that Nilin, the, the memory terrorist, the errorist, to use Edge's phrasing, is actually a far more professional memory remixer than the man who invented memory remixing. The daughter has surpassed the father. If this was Metal Gear, she would now be awarded the title Big Cartier Wells. What we're doing here is just reinforcing a theme that's been going on the entire game. And that is that Nilin is undoing what Charles has done. That she is correcting his mistakes. And in this case she is making, she's even making his mistakes. Because the one thing he did right has to be wrong in order for him to wake up and face reality. And that's symbolism. It's not subtle symbolism, but the fact that you get to do it yourself just makes it sting a little more. It makes it have more of an impact. And it kind of disguises the fact that if this were a cutscene, you would just be like, Oh, of course. How could I not have seen this coming? At least that's how it was for me. Oh! Nalin, stop! That's dangerous! And you know, for all the shit I talked about this game, for all the things I mocked, for all the pot shots I took, this game made me feel things, especially in this finale, when, when Charles Cartier Wells realizes the error of his ways. That's something that no amount of mockery, either from me or from anyone else, should be able to take away. That is a thing that I can't even mock, I can't even make a tasteless joke here.
Nelly! Oh my god. What have I done? Child, forgive me. <laughs> I wasn't naturally gifted. I was just a good student. You were his experiment, Nilan. Break him. Do it. Oh, Edge. What a tragic waste. Stop. You must stop everything, Papa. The experiments, the abuses, the lies. The entire world is dying from an overdose of amnesia and false memories. The horrors I have dug up. Noble an idea. No, Charles. From the very beginning, it was a bad idea. You used your own daughter as a guinea pig. And your wife, too, if I'd let you. You never forgave me. Why are you here today? Because I loved you. And because you're still a genius. There's a civil war out there, Charles. Hate, fear, riots, pain. Everything you set out to eliminate. It's our fault, Charles, and it has to stop. We're nearly there. We must cut the flux relay at its source. Disconnect H3O. The security system is impossible to breach. Unless... It is time! Unless both you and I authorize access. Together. Hey, voila! That's why you sent me to remix them. Only they could authorize access to the central server. Now it's your turn, sis, to finish the job! Shut the fuck up, Edge! I'm having an emotional moment here! Access protocol to H3O. Vocal validation. Standing by. Memorize. Hominis Evolucio. Identities confirmed. Access to memorial servers authorized. You're a better, stronger Cartier Wells than either me or your father. I'm proud of you, my daughter. Here. It's for you. I don't need your memories anymore.
When you were little, you often came down here to visit me. These memories will help you find your way. Thanks, Papa. You're welcome, my little smarty. We'll be waiting for you here. H3O is going to be disconnected. You did it, sister. You'll have done in a day what the Errors failed to achieve in over a decade. But we're still outlaws. With your connections, I wouldn't worry too much. I'm finally going to meet you then. Yes. Follow the remembering that your father gave you, and this will all be over. How am I going to be able to disconnect H3O? Just like any other machine. Edge! 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 Yeah, I'm sure we're just gonna be able to go to the server and like pull the plug and everything's gonna be all right. But first we're gonna have to go through this labyrinth. And the remembrance that are meant to guide you through the labyrinth, they can be kind of misleading. Not in the way that they just lead you into the wrong direction, but they are... Sometimes you have difficulties getting the next one to spawn. And you need them to lead the way. So there are times where you just hang out in in a part of the labyrinth for a minute or two trying to find the next remembrane. Jack, don't leave me And alone. the fact that the labyrinth keeps shifting around makes finding the next trigger point a bit of a hassle. But other than that, if you look closely, or if you just look at the, at the servers here, you can see that they are overflowing with memories. Like the memories are even leaking outside of the storage space. Which makes them look like cobwebs. I wasn't a very happy little girl. Jax was truly your only friend. There you are. You weren't answering me. I hadn't relived your memories for a long time. I almost forgot how much they hurt. How's that? Relived? So much pain, sister. And for such a long time, so empty, so true. Edge, you're starting to scare me. Keep going, little sister. H3O must disappear. I guess you could say, because Edge is a criminal and he sounds really horny when it comes to destroying H3O, and he's got a crime boner. But then again... No, that's a spoiler. I'm not gonna tell you that. You just wait until it happens in the game. And then I'll make a joke about it. And you hear that ticking noise? The game actually expects you to search for a Scaramac here. On its last no. legs. No, even here. Hand. In the last part of the last section of the game. With only one thing left to do. It still wants you to collect experience points. And here I am. Back to where it all started. Yes. It's here that you gave birth to me. Don't you find the expression a little abusive, brother? <laughs> it's just a question of perspective. When did you figure it out? Just now. Edge is H3O. It hit me. It's obvious. I really want to die. I didn't lie to you. Who are you? Really? I am Edge. I am a spontaneous entity born from the putrid pits where everyone flushed their most horrible and painful memories. I am H3O. My first memories are the tears of a girl. 
I am the child of Memrise and its worst enemy. I am the father of the Leapers and their grim Reaper. I am your friend. You must kill me. And if I don't want to? There is no choice, sister. I will force you to confront me, and if you do not win, I will destroy you. I'm afraid. As am I. I, I have no words left for how much I hate this plot twist and for how much I hate this character. I... The only thing Edge has managed to accomplish during the course of this game is making me wanna kill him. And even though I get to, I don't even get to have fun during it.